Hi Virgo, this is going to be your reading for the 16th till the 22nd of September. So if these messages don't resonate with you, check your moon, Venus and rising. Or if you want more insight. So, Virgo. flirt so it could be new love coming in for some of you right. Virgo 16th to the 22nd of September Nine of Cups, definitely, yep, good cards, okay, so, some of you are actually wanting to move forward, wanting this, well, some kind of situation to end, maybe you're wanting to completely get someone out of your life from the past. Could have met somebody new who you're feeling really good about or will be could be a fire sign or they could have fire in their chart aries leo sagittarius queen of, so queen of wands i just saw definitely somebody with fire in their chart a lot of you have met yeah wanting to end something with someone <clears throat> you have new love Somebody must have came in and offered you new love or you're offering somebody love. You're not too sure about, you know, trusting this person. It could be that you're seeing this person as like they, they don't have much direction. Some of you, like as to when it comes to what they want in love or in life. But they are attractive. You do... There is attraction here, or there will be, like, when you meet this person. Definitely somebody's coming in to offer you something new, though. And I don't feel, like, for some of you, I don't feel like it's an ex. I feel like you, you're wanting, I mean, this is what you want. It's the death card. Um, wanting something to end. This is also Scorpio, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let me see what's going on over here. Yep, so someone from the past, they um, they see this as a tower moment, like you leaving them is like a tower moment for them. You... Some of you, some of you this person felt like you were all they had. It could be vice versa. Yep. I feel like they... They are waiting for you to come back. They are wanting to reconcile with you. Because they feel like they've invested a lot. This is true. Yeah. They feel like they've invested a lot in you in the relationship and they see you as like 
wanting to be free, I guess. It's like they feel like you want to be free, which for some of you, I am seeing that up here. But I don't know. It's like it's really shooken them like this. The situation really has them on their toes, I guess. So, what doesn't help you is communicating with this person. What does help you is blocking them. So, it will help you to move on, basically. It will help you to pr protecting yourself from this person. It will help you. I'm not sure what they've done in the past. But, in the position of what helps you is you being, you know, defensive. You protecting yourself. And what doesn't work is being in contact with this person. So let's say the person in the past, for some of you, is a narcissist. The no contact situation will help you. However, if you're really trying to get over someone, then again, no contact will help you. Because they'll say what they want to say to get back with you. But I do feel like... Like they see they they see you as someone they can easily take advantage of for some of you some someone in the past feels that way like they feel like they can have you back when they want, and so not talking to that person will help you not falling for that person again will help you this new person coming in it seems way better like it's making you way a lot more happy this new person. So, you have three of wands as your outcome. Let's clarify. It does seem like some of you are definitely just waiting to see what happens. When it comes to love, like not really wanting to rush. Ten of Pentacles. You're waiting for the one, I see. You're not dealing with any more third party situations, not wanting anything like that. You definitely are waiting for the one. Not letting any anything get in the way of that. Basically, you're having a lot of patience. You're definitely wanting a change in your love life. Your love life is not what you want it to be, I guess, for some of you. And you're waiting for this new person to come in. And I'm glad to say that they are, for, for a lot of you. Somebody new is coming in. And that's exactly what you're waiting for. And you have the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. So this is a person who is very stable, emotionally stable, financially stable, and ready to settle down. You know, there's no third party here. This is in reverse, so that's not what you're waiting for. You're waiting for stability, and that is what you, some of you are going to get because of your patience and, you know, your strength. So, let's see what advice we have. Attraction. Told you. Fire sign, attractive fire sign. Coming in. It is safe for you to love, open your heart. To give and receive the highest energy of all. Honeymoon. Energy. Sorry. Energy. Enjoy your. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past. You experience new. You experience more love in your present moment. So. Definitely seeing that you're wanting to move forward. You have flirt. You have a safe future love. This is all new love here. While you're someone from the past, your person from the past is not happy, but this is about your happiness. And there's definitely someone coming in 
for sure. So look out for a fire sign, someone with fire in their chart strongly or like their sun sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to come into your life. And it's like this, your ex will come back, but it will be just to, I don't know, like maybe you just need to forgive them or get, um, what's the word, closure. So you can move forward but I do feel like a lot of you are just really wanting to move forward not wanting to dwell on the past not wanting to go back there you definitely having the patience to wait for this happy ending so let's see what advice we have there we go to the 22nd. Body of water, spend time near water such as a lake, river or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Undying love, the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. To be a strong connection with this person from the past, I do feel like they feel they've invested a lot into this situation. <clears throat> and so they're, they're waiting for you to come back. They expect you to come back. But it's up to you. Sacred space, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Unconditional love, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward apparent appearance may be. So, you've definitely been, you know, advised by the cards to forgive this person from the past and like really handle it in a calm manner in order to help move forward in a healthy way. Without the drama, you can, you know, move forward to someone new or to continue to wait to have patience when it comes to getting what you want because the patience, having patience will bring you exactly what it is that you want. And rushing back to the past, it won't. I'm not seeing a change with the person from the past. I'm just seeing that they... They want to bring the same old thing. I don't see them putting in any effort. I just see them wanting to come back because it's comfort for them. But you are wanting more. Okay. So definitely. Definitely wait for that person. That's the best advice. Definitely stay no contact. If you're dealing with someone. If the person from the past is to toxic. Toxic. Um, I would not communicate, no contact, and defend yourself from this person. Because it seems like, even if they're not toxic, it seems like you could fall back into their little love trap. You know, their little sweet talk, when really it's not what you want, you're wanting something more, you're not wanting to waste your time anymore. So... For those of you who have deliberately gone no contact with someone, I would keep it that way if, if this is really what you want and if you're really wanting this this happy ending, this security, this relationship, this marriage that you have coming in. Okay, so Virgo, that was your reading for the week of the 16th till the 22nd of September. Um, check your moon, Venus, and rising if this didn't resonate with you all the way, or if you want more insight on your week. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Let me know if this resonates with you, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.